Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I have some bits from Ikea that I wanted to share with you. I went to Ikea the other day because I have been doing a little bit of work on my wardrobe, so like my personal style, decluttering my wardrobe and I realised that I needed some more organisation. And also I've been wanting to do a little room makeover for a while. Nothing too huge in terms of cosmetic, I just wanted some new bedding, sort of decor and I think I was fairly successful in the things that I picked up. I also needed um, a new mirror, so I will show you all the bigger pieces throughout. But first, let's start with this bag here. I don't think I'm going to do this in any particular order because um, it's all sort of jumbled in here. But let's see what we have. So first up are some cushion inserts. Now these are to go on my bed. So as you can see, my bed is very plain, which I love. I have this white bedding but I only have my pillows that I sleep on and I really wanted to add some more texture and some more coziness to it. So I thought I would start with some cushions. So I've got these cushion inserts. These are 40 by 65. Now, the reason I got these ones is because I, when I was looking up about cushions and how to get them nice and fluffy, they were saying that you should, or a lot of interior stylists were saying that you should put insets in that are bigger than the cushion cover than you, that you've bought. So these are 40 by 65. Now, I don't know how these are going to look, so I need to test that theory out and see if it works. So I got two, and these were 750 each, I think. This is a duvet cover that I picked up, and it's in this really nice, sort of cool-toned, I would say, beigey, taupey colour. I can you call this grey beige and I can understand why I think because it's so cool toned it can sort of live in that family but I wouldn't say this is very grey I would definitely say this is more sort of beigey taupey colour like I said just very cool toned which I like I do prefer the cool toned colours also a little tip for my bed that I like to do to make it feel a little bit more luxury is buy a quilt and obviously the duvet covers a size up so for example I only have a double bed and I bought the duvet cover. I bought the duvet in the king size, and I obviously buy the duvet covers in the king size as well. And I just find having a bit of extra material just makes it look much puffier and a lot more luxury. And also, it's much cozier in bed. I love it. So I always get all my bedding in king size. Then I picked up some neck curtains. So these are the little neck curtains. I already have these on my window. But they're very sheer, which I like. However, I wanted to add another another pair so they weren't as sheer. These, I believe, are 450. I think these have gone up in price. IKEA have definitely had a price increase because I'm sure these used to be 350. But for 450, I still think they're really good value for money. So I bought them. I also bought some new curtains to try out. So these are the Hannah Lil. I think they're called and at present I have white curtains up the windows in front of me so at present I have white curtains hanging up which I like but they're going to go in another room and again because I wanted my room to feel a little bit more cozier and just bring in some different sort of colours and textures I thought these curtains would go really nicely so they're still very very subtle I don't know if you can see that this um similar to the to the bedding but much lighter this sort of beigey taupe colour, but very, very light. And I just thought these would look really nice hanging up against my white walls. And yeah, we just add something different. So I'm excited to get them hung up. Next is probably one of the most favourite things I've bought because of practicality, but also how much use I'm going to get out of it and how nice it is. So it's this beige bathrobe dressing gown and what I thought with this is at the minute when I'm getting out of the bath or shower and I am either doing my makeup and before I get dressed for the day or in the evening when I put a moisturizer before I get in my pajamas I always feel like I need something to put on until I'm either like fully dry or until like my moisturizer soaked in and I just thought this would be absolutely perfect I don't know why I always find when I'm not in a rush and I've after I've showered or bathed I always have a gap of time before I get dressed or in my pyjamas and I don't really, I mean at the minute I'm like wondering when I'm doing a towel which just isn't practical so this is ideal. 
I did try these on in Ikea and they either had the small to medium or the large to extra large and I went for the large to extra large. I mean even this to be fair it isn't that, I wouldn't say it's that oversized but it's the perfect amount of oversized that I wanted. So I forgot I got these so I also picked up the matching slippers. So that dressing gown, sorry, I think that was £25. I'm sure it was like, it was either 22 or 25 but I believe it was £25. These were a lot cheaper. These were, I think, 150 maybe 250 But yeah, so these are the matching slippers. Now, the reason I picked these up is because, again, like I was saying, when I get straight out of the bath, again, I have warm slippers. I have my nice fluffy slippers. I don't like to put them in, put them on straight after the bath. So... To me, I can put these on, again, they're like that toweling detail, uh, not detail, that toweling material, and they're just going to be perfect for after the bath when I'm walking around the house. I just think they're brilliant. They are flimsy, like they're not um, the greatest, but they are perfect. They're just like spa slippers. Basically, I really want to, anytime I get out of a bath, my bath or shower, put on my robe and slippers, I want to feel like I'm going to the spa or I've been to the spa. And I don't know, just having these things, just they're small things, they're small details, but they just feel like a little bit of luxury for me, at a small cost, I think, as well. So, and they're practical, they're going to get a lot of use, so I was very happy to um, pick these up. This is another thing that I bought that I absolutely love. I've actually already used this, so I've taken this out of its packaging, but this is IKEA's Octopus. I was so excited to get this. Honestly, practical things can just change your life for the better. So, obviously a little octopus face, but this is for my washing and it's just going to change my life when it comes to doing my socks, flannels, underwear. It's just going to make everything so much easier. I can hang it all on here and then pop it on my washing line and it's easy, it's done. It's not taking up too much space. It looks nice, but also it's very handy because when you're not using it, closes up like that and it's very easy to store and it really doesn't take up that much room. This was 350 I think and it was worth every penny. This was one purchase that I was really unsure about. I knew that I wanted it but I was I'm an hour about it. I think because of the price tag. I don't know why this just seemed quite expensive to me but basically it's a mirror. Can you see it? This was £27, which I think is quite a lot for a mirror. Well, sort of a, a desk mirror, I don't know. But to be fair, it's huge. And I just thought this would be so good when I'm doing my makeup. I can actually pop it on top of my chest of drawers and it will be handy. But also, I can carry it around with me should I need to go to a different room. So it is great. It's got this really lovely stand. It's in this really nice sort of um, natural wood colour. I just, yeah... I was just really unsure about this, but now I have it, I do think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it and I will like it and I love how it looks. It's just very understated, very simple, which I like. Um, obviously it folds flat, so I want to put it away somewhere. So I do think I like it. I just think initially the price tag was a bit like, wow, £27. I don't know, that might be quite good for a mirror. I think it's quite good for a mirror this size. It's just because this was the one thing that wasn't on my wish list. I was quite good when I went to Ikea. I think the best way to shop Ikea is that you have to have a clear idea of what you actually want and need from there. Otherwise, you will either come away with nothing that you need or a lot of impulse purchases. So I, I'd already been on the app beforehand, put everything in my basket that I knew I wanted to buy and then I could pick it up in shop. This was one thing I walked past that caught my eye. And I was like, that is very nice. And I think because I wasn't planning to get it beforehand, I was sort of questioning, do I actually want, well, not do I want it, I wanted it, do I actually need it? But obviously I convinced myself that I do. So now I've just got to get it out and it will be something that I use a lot because the only mirror I have is my floor length mirror. And honestly, it's such a pain sitting down there and doing my makeup in front of it because I have to sit cross-legged like this. So this would be great, it, it will be good. It's worth it, I will get my use out of it. As much as I love walking through IKEA showrooms, the best bit always is the market hall downstairs. I think that's what it's called. And another great part of that market hall is the flowers. So they have incredible selection of uh, artificial flowers. And I wanted to pick some up. Anna Vaz, 
Now, I already had in my head sort of um, what I wanted to go for, so I knew I wanted the cream, cream ones, and I wanted them to be quite big. I've got quite a big space on my dressing table, not my chest, dressing table, my chest of drawers, that is very empty at the minute. So I knew I wanted these to sort of be the stand-up piece to pop on there. But, obviously I didn't know which ones I wanted to get because online it's not like you can put the bouquet together. It's a lot easier to do it in store. So I came up with these in store and I was very impressed with my flower skills because honestly it's not something that I really pay too much attention to. So, these are my new flowers and I absolutely love them. And I also have a new vase. So so let's start with the vase first of all. I'm unsure of the name of this, but I will link everything in the description bar below. This was £15, I do remember that, but this is a lovely, lovely vase with this speckled, can you see that? It's got almost sort of this, I don't know if speckled's the right word. I don't know, but it's got this beautiful detail on it. And it's massive, as you can see. So I thought £15, this was really good value for money. And I also like that it's, um, quite tall it's not too wide and I picked up these flowers to go in it now these off the top of my head come to 30 pound which I think is quite good for the amount of flowers that I have here and honestly all I did in the store was picked up this vase and started pulling out some flower stems and putting them together and I actually loved how they turned out so what I did here, I have three different types of stems. Well, I don't know what the most helpful way to show you these are, but these are one of the stems that I picked up. Then obviously I picked up these. These are, is it the eucalyptus? Picked up some of these, which I love. I just think they go really nicely together. And obviously they're different greens, but they all merge in really nicely together. And the third one I picked up looked like this. So I just thought to keep it nice and cohesive, I would just go with the three different types and I would pick up a number of them in these stems. So they're the three. And this is them all together. And I just think, I think they look really pretty. Honestly, when they're sitting on my chest of drawers, they look really lovely. I think considering they're artificial flowers, they look really pretty. I'm sure you can get better quality or more realistic looking versions of these. However, for the price point, I think I don't think IKEA is the cheap of, cheapest for artificial flowers either, but I think for how they looked and to get a bunch like this all together, I think that's really good value for money, so I was happy with that. Now, the main reason I wanted to go to IKEA was that I needed some new shoe storage. And I was really, really unsure about the best way to store my shoes, how I could do it. Because I don't have a lot of storage space. I don't have really any space in my wardrobe to do it. And in our porch downstairs, we have very limited space. With, I was obviously already full with shoes. And I do have quite a number of shoes. So I was really unsure how I wanted to do it. I also wanted to look it to look nice. So I decided in the end on a Billy bookcase and I figured as long as I keep it nice and tidy and organised it will actually be a very nice sort of aesthetically pleasing way to store my shoes and actually at the minute I'm loving it. Now I've figured out the shelves and how much I can store and what goes away it looks very very nice and it's a great way for me to have access to my shoes because I can see them all and I can just grab them as and when I need them. So far it's proven to be a very very good shoe storage solution. And lastly, I also picked up a new mirror. So I picked up the Hobbit mirror in, I think it's Hobbit. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's Hobbit. Hobbit. Hobbit mirror in black. So this only used to come in silver. And now they have bought it out in black, which is lovely. I love the black one. This was very expensive. It's probably the most expensive thing I've got from Ikea. Uh, I think it was £150, which is a lot. And again, this has gone up in price because these... I'm sure these used to be so much cheaper than 150. However, saying that, for the size of the mirror that you get, 150 pound is still really good value for money, I think. So that's over in this corner of the room, which again I'll show you. I absolutely love it. I don't know, for me a full mirror, a full length mirror is just vital. So I love having that. And it also looks very sleek, I think, in the black. It goes in my room very well. That's everything I got in IKEA. Hopefully you liked some of the bits that I picked up and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.